Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Westfield is brought to you by Assemblyman John Bramnick. It's been an up and down year so far for Morristown Baird. The Crimson look for a marquee early season win against one of the state's top public teams. Westfield is looking to get right. They won their first three games, yet are on a two game losing skid. Westfield came out of the gate with early pressure. Greg Oliveri feeds to Matt Beek. The puck goes off his skate and in for the goal. Mo Baird head coach Scott Green doesn't agree with the call, but it stands. Westfield has a 1-0 lead. The Blue Devils strike again a minute later. Matteo Mancino deeks and scores. A great assist from Michael Marshall helps Westfield climb out to a 2-0 lead. There's 6.50 left in the first period. But the Crimson get on the board. Hollis Humphreys shoots from behind the net and it deflects in. So Mo Baird closes the gap, but they're still down 2-1 after the first period. Second period, Westfield attacks again. The puck bounces around. It gets to Spencer Brown. He lights the lamp. Westfield's pressure is paying off. They're out to a 3-1 lead. And Westfield's passing stood out too. Spencer Brown threatens again, but it's Matt Beek who crashes the net for the goal. That's two goals on the day for Beek. He leads the Blue Devils with nine on the year so far. It's Westfield now with a 4-1 lead after two full periods. Third period, Mancino with a good stick lift and an even better pass. Thomas Conrad sends it to the top shelf. Conrad breaks out the violin from his back pocket. It's Westfield now with a 5-1 lead on Morristown Baird. The Blue Devils also got a good performance in net from Jake Watson. This blocker save was one of his 19 stops on the night. The Crimson did score a late goal, but it doesn't change the outcome. 5-2 is the final. Westfield snaps a two-game losing streak with a solid win over a tough non-public opponent. The 4-2 Blue Devils will get back into their McInnes Division schedule with three more games before Christmas break. Things do not get any easier for Morristown Baird. Their next four games include Randolph, Chatham, Ridge, and Rumson Fairhaven. Reporting from Twin Oaks Arena in Morristown, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.